two games because you hadn't played well. So what, right. what, what were the two games and what made you say that? Uh, well, I actually had a very rough game against SDSU. Okay. And I just kind of took that upon myself. You know, we still won the game, but I didn't do my job. So, you know, I told Coach Chase that I own and I, I owed him. <laughs> so you owed him two games for the one bad game? Yes. <laughs> it was that bad, huh? Yeah. He, uh, so uh, I think Caldwell joked that maybe you were just too cold because you're from Hawaii. Uh, did, did, did they give you a little bit of that during the week that week? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, <laughs> the weather was, what, about eight degrees yeah. that day? And, yeah. It's not my my type of atmosphere, but, you know, I dealt with it and we got the Ws. What's so it mean to you as a young guy to come back the way you have from, you know, have a bad game, come back and play the way you have the last two weeks? Um, I just really say it's like a whole team effort right now. You know, there's no really individuals on this team right now, so it's so it's really us just kind of working all together as a whole, and you know, it's all coming together as you guys can see. We've been doing really good. So you're happy with the last two games? You're calling it even now? Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I still owe this team a lot more, so <laughs> obviously I'm not going to call it quits here. But <laughs> yeah. When, sure. when when did you go to, to to Yates and say that to him, and why did you feel like you needed to show that accountability? I um, it was actually that following Tuesday after the game. You know, we watched the film on Sunday. We have off on Monday, and we show up on Tuesday. And you know, I just really felt like, you know, I really didn't play at my level. And so, you know, I went up to him and I told him, "Hey, coach, I owe you some." And you know, we got after it as a team, and it all worked. Have you guys, had, have you guys had had a talk at all since these last two games at all? Um, <laughs> here and there, you know, we kind of joke around a little bit more because he feels kind of free right now because we just been doing really good as a whole defense. So. You know, it's just been good. You know, the mojo around here has just been really, really smooth. Do you feel like you're starting to become a leader maybe of the defense or at least the D-line? I mean, you look at the stats, your first team, for someone to take that upon themselves and go say something like that to Coach Yates, I mean, are you starting to put more of that on yourself to be a leader of this defense? Right. Um, well, I wouldn't really say I'm much of a, I'm much of a leader, I'm much of an individual person. You know, I kind of just, like, I keep things to myself. So, so if I feel I didn't, I didn't really bring what I need to bring to the table for this team, then, you know, I just kind of take it upon myself. You know, I don't really need to express that to anyone else but my coaches, just to let them know, just so we can be on the same page and we can get out there. And so you, you let your stats or your play on the field do the, do the talking, so to speak? Uh, you know, with stats, you know, I don't really pay attention to all that, you know. It's really a, it's really a team effort around here, especially in Boise. And, you know, I just love that, you know, my guys around here, you know, they always got my back, and I, and I really can do my job if I really trust them out there, and I've been trusting them, and it's been working. Well, you, you, you said you kind of had a look in the mirror moment, obviously, right. prior to the season. Right. And it was, it was about a year ago at this time where, you know, you kind of, a little, you know, Gabe kind of took your job from you a little bit there at the end of last season, right. and, and today you're named the first team All-Mountain West player. Right. What does that mean to you? Um, well, it means a lot. You know, I actually talked to my mom this morning, and, uh, she really just said to give thanks to God and the Lord, and, and I'm really thankful for that. And you know, I've just been working really hard, and you know, it's been paying off. Jay, Jay said thankful. he was taking a quiz when he found out he was first in the world. Right. Right. Um, actually, it was really, really funny. I was walking to class, and a few of my teammates were like, "Hey, man, you know, good job." And I was like, "What are you guys talking about?" And they was like, "Oh yeah, you got first team." And I was like, "Oh, thanks, I appreciate it." <laughs> but I didn't really know until they said, and then I finally looked on the on the internet and saw. So. Is, that, is, that, is that emotional news for you at all? Um, yeah, you know, it kind of is. You know, I came last year and I really didn't do much for this team. So I just really feel, you know, I really feel feel proud, I should say, upon myself that that I'm actually doing something for the team. And I'm just glad. You uh, lead, the, lead the Mountain West in the sacks and you say you don't care about stats too much, right. but, but that's one as a defensive lineman you probably take a look at. What's right. that mean to you to, to, to be leading the league in sacks? Um, it's, just, it's just hard work and, you know, it's, you know, it's all paying off. And with the help of my, my guys next to me with Coach Caldwell, and, you know, it's just all working as one. And, you know, I'm the one getting the sacks. So, so I'm really getting the praise, but it really should be the whole defense because we're all doing our job. And I'm just in the right spot at the right time. So. Obviously, obviously, playing time is part of it. But what's been the difference this year for you? Why have you been able to get on the field, stay on the field, and be able to you know, play as well as you have? Um, well, it's just really taking that, uh, I would say, that pre-snap read and uh, 
just like those simple cues, you know, like the simple things can really take you a long way. And I've just been using that and like the tips from my coaches and, and whatnot, and it's been helping. And, and I really feel as a defense, we've, we've really grown and it's, it's really showing right now. But the you get, you get to turn the ball over and you're one of the top five country to turn the ball over as a defense. Is that what you take the most pride in? Because right. at the end of the day, that's kind of the name of the game. Right. Um, yeah, you know, I would say that the biggest thing around here is turnovers because if we get the ball back to our offense, you know, we have a lot of weapons on offense and, you know, as soon as they get the ball, they'll they'll do something with it. How have you done it? How have you guys created so many turnovers? Right. Uh, I would say it changes week by week, you know. Like, we really take the approach to be physical, uh, kind of like mean-headed, like a dirt dog. And, you know, we really just got after it and just just ripped that ball out. And Coach just been saying, you know, just play physical, and it showed. So well, in the last two and a half weeks, this defense has, has been playing at a different level. What, what happened since then, kind of back to halftime of San Diego State game on? You, you guys have been playing really well. Um, I would just say we really had one goal in mind, and that's to win a Mountain West championship. And like, you know, with that, we just take it week by week. And like with Coach Harson in our meetings, he always says to be 1-0. and So if we take it week by week, we be 1-0, and and we do a, what we can in that moment, then I feel we can take take over. So how does that feel knowing if you go 1-0 and this week, you guys will you know, be Mountain West champs? Um, you know, I feel like if we win, we've, we've obviously reached our goal, but we still have a lot of work to do this week, and you know, I hope we get after it. What does it mean for you to, 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 to make sacrifices, you know, and, and see results? And you know, other, I mean, I know the actual accolade might not mean anything to you, but the right. meaning of the accolade might. Um, I don't really have much to say about that. Yeah, Sorry. No, that's good. Uh, how about uh, you, you mixed it up this year in terms of what you do after a sack? Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, where, where, where do you and how do you decide on that? <laughs> um, you know, it's kind of a thing on the sideline we do with our teammates, you know, be like, hey, man, you know, if you get a sack, do this. If you get a sack, do that. So it's funny. Last week, you know, they, my teammates told me to hit one of these, and I got a sack, and then I did it. And, yeah, it was, it was funny. So. Uh, Waller, uh, the running back from Fresno, he made some plays against you guys last right. time. What uh, what did you learn about playing against him six weeks ago that uh, helped you maybe this week? Uh, he's actually a very good running back, you know. He runs hard. He runs physical. He's he's fast. He's, he's a smart player. So uh, uh, we really just need to hit the film room, you know, just watch like his miscues and stuff and what he has uh, has bad about him, which is not too much. So so you know, if we really pick that out, then we'll you know we'll be okay. It seems like their quarterback, you know, Burrell did not play great against you guys. Right. Was benched the next week, but the last three weeks has kind of stepped up his game. Right. Have you maybe seen him get better in these last couple of games that? Might give you guys a little bit of a trouble. Um, yes, I totally agree with you. You know, uh, he really is a good player. He's uh, he's smart. You know, they have a they have a really good offense. So, so I think this game is not going to be easy for us. So we really need to get after him for sure. Coach Caldwell was saying that you know he, he's maybe seen opposing defenses or whatever or offenses. Excuse me, maybe roll protection your way more over the last few weeks. Right. Have you noticed a different challenge in, in that in that regard at all? Um, here and there, you know, I don't really pay pay too much attention to that, you know, I just go out, go out and I do what is asked of me and if the ball comes my way, you know, I make something happen. So you got a dance plan for this week? Um, you know, there's not really anything set in mind, but, you know, if I feel like doing something crazy out there, then y'all see it. <laughs> <laughs>